Deputy Michael Martin, who is um, customary three minutes. Thank you. Um, I'll ask you on Corla. Taoiseach, everybody in this House wants to see the National Children's Hospital um, completed uh, on time uh, and on budget. Uh, as we know, uh, the project has gone uh, through many trials and tribulations, with the Matter site lose, not getting planning permission, uh, then the St James's site being identified by Minister Riley at the time. And at the announcement of that, I think the cost was estimated at around £485 million. Uh, in 2016, after planning commission had been sanctioned, the cost was estimated at about £650 million. Um, and now we are told uh, that the cost is £1.4 billion. That that's the projected uh, cost. This despite the fact that on the 27th of September, indeed in a week before that, in parliamentary questions to Barry Cowan, uh, Minister Harris said it would be about £983 million. So in the space of about six weeks, it's gone from less than a billion to £1.4 billion, apparently, which is extraordinary stuff. Uh, and you know, the management of major capital projects is critically important. Um, and we have a Minister for Health, we have a Cabinet Committee on Health, uh, and yet the project costs are the recently pro projected ones of £1.4 seem to have caught everybody by surprise, including the Taoiseach. Um, and it has impact on other projects within the health service and indeed across the public service in general. The Secretary General of the Department of Health, I believe, has met with the hospital group wanting to rein in costs. You yourself, Taoiseach, at an event in the last number of days, have said that it's gone beyond all expectations uh, and beyond uh, what anybody anticipated in terms of the cost of it, and that it would mean other projects and services would either be delayed or scrapped, uh, certainly um, d delayed. And we've just seen recently a HEQA report, uh, which, for example, comments very critically on capped out equipment in hospitals across the country. Uh, in the Mercy Hospital in Cork, they're talking about equipment 12 years old, St Michael's in Dunleary, uh, cancer for, or sorry, uh, breast cancer equipment in CUH, which is a centre of excellence, is out of date. Uh, and the ballooning costs of the Children's Hospital um, and the, the nature of how this has come to the, into the public domain uh, suggests that many of these hospitals uh, and, and, and requirements of hospitals across the country will not be met now uh, because of the impact of the uh, soaring costs of the children's hospital and the lack of any controls um, put in place. So Taoiseach, why the absence of transparency on this? Because Deputy Cowan, Barry Cowan and indeed many journalists, Paul Cullen and Fiocchione and others, the examiner have been pursuing this for quite some time. Can you confirm that the up-to-date projected cost is 1.4 billion and that that includes IT and fit-out cost? Uh, and is that the upper limit? Uh, of the cost of the hospital. How did this overrun a court Taoiseach? Were there deficiencies at tender stage? Um, can you outline to the House what other projects will be delayed or cancelled as a result of the overrun in terms of the Children's Taoiseach. Hospital? And can you specify that in terms of health uh, and other departments? And will the Government overall stop stonewalling on this and provide de a detailed and transparent presentation on this entire issue? My because the public Taoiseach. are entitled to know. Taoiseach. Three minutes. Thanks, thanks very much, Deputy. I, I think we'll all agree that the new children's hospital, uh, our country's new children's hospital, uh, is a project that we all support. Uh, we all want to see it uh, built uh, on time, if not on time, maybe even ahead of schedule, uh, and open to uh, the children of Ireland to receive the best quality paediatric health care in the world, uh, which is what I believe they deserve. This project is the biggest, biggest single investment uh, in health care uh, in our history. Uh, and it allows three rather old hospitals at Crumlin, Temple Street uh, and Talla to be replaced by a new state-of-the-art hospital, a hospital with all the best equipment, five MRI machines, ten theatres for children who need operations, outpatient departments, single rooms for every kid uh, to reduce uh, the risk of infection, to give them the privacy they deserve, uh, making sure that their parents can stay with them at night if they need to do. So this is going from a very antiquated old infrastructure that is not up to standard uh, to what will be, um, I believe, uh, one of the best children's hospitals in the world uh, when it opens. Uh, we are getting there. Uh, you're right to say that this project has a long history. Uh, the fact that planning permission wasn't secured in the matter caused cost, caused delays. We now have planning permission secured for the site um, besides St James's. 
the uh, Children's Hospital itself uh, comes into existence on the 1st of January 2019. The three hospitals will be merged under a single governance uh, structure. Uh, getting that right, the hospitals being merged across the three sites before uh, they come together in the one building. Uh, the satellite centre at Connolly is almost finished. I was there yesterday. It will be open to patients next summer. Uh, Tala is very well advanced. And the enabling works, the site works, um, and the phase A works are now, are now close to completion uh, at the St. James's site. It has a dedicated board, a paediatric hospital development board, was, which was set up with that express purpose of making sure that this project was driven by expertise, by people who knew how to do big projects. And the board is made up of people who have experience in this area uh, and has, of course, the CEO who's experienced this area. Uh, this morning, Cabinet met and discussed the issue, discussed the escalating costs. Uh, we agreed to um, accept the uh, new uh, overall uh, cost, which is 1.433 billion. Uh, that represents a 450 million increase on what we uh, had projected uh, in April 2017. Uh, of that, 319 million is made up of increased construction costs, uh, 50 million of it is VAT and the range relates to staff, planning, design teams, risk contingency, and also the management equipment service uh, to make sure that the hospital obviously uh, is, is properly equipped. Um, there will be further investigations uh, as to how um, these costs escalated by so much uh, since uh, April last year, uh, and the National Paediatric Hospital Development Board uh, will be available to brief members of the Public Accounts Committee, members of the Joint Directors Committee, uh, to give them uh, any information that they want uh, about this project and about uh, the reasons behind the escalating costs. Come on, I, get, uh, I think your confirmation is, 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 is incredible, Taoiseach, because on the 27th of September, the Minister said, um, in we are making a massive one billion investment in children's health, which is right and proper. That's 27th of September. <coughs> what date is it today? 16th, 17th of December, 18th of December, 400 and odd million in the space of six weeks. Like, did anybody say to the minister, to yourself, minister, around the 30th of September, by the way, what you said there in the dial could be 400 million out? I mean, it's just beyond comprehension. Who was reporting to you, minister, on this? Who is reporting, Taoiseach, to the Cabinet C Committee on Health? Who is reporting to the Minister for Public Expenditure? I was quite stoic about all this. I have to admire that poker face right there now. But I mean, uh, but behind the scenes, there must be some engagement somewhere. But in all seriousness, Taoiseach, you said there will be some investigations. Who is responsible for this? And who is accountable to whom? It's the minister ultimately is accountable to the committees, and he should talk, come before the, for the committees, as well as the, the, the hospital board. But it is extraordinary in the space of six weeks that we've gone from less than a billion to, um, to, to uh, 400, over, 33 million extra. You overshot the runway, deputy. And in your cabinet deliberations this morning, Taoiseach, is there confidence that that 1.433 is the upper limit? And does it include... IT and fit out of the two minutes. Tisha, one minute. Um, thanks very much, uh, Deputy. To answer your question, uh, the board is responsible for the project. The board is accountable to the minister, and of course, the minister and the government uh, are accountable to the Oireachtas. And as I said earlier, uh, the board will be happy to uh, receive a delegation or meet with the Joint Oireachtas Committee and the PAC uh, to give them further information about the reason for the costs escalating. I'd like to say once again that this is the biggest single investment in the health of our children ever. It may well turn out to be one of the most expensive children's hospitals in the world, but it's also going to turn out to be one of the best. Uh, and uh, the first elements of it, the satellite centre in Blanchestown, will open to patients next year, tell the year after uh, the campus itself, um, the main campus opening in 2022. Work is very much underway. This project is real. The hospitals will be uh, under a single governance structure as soon as January this year in only a few weeks' time. Uh, the cost is, um, the, 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 the cost is, is 1.433 million. Um, that cost is what they call, uh, the, 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 is what they, is what they call the, the GMP, which is the, 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 the gross or the agreed maximum price. Um, but there are assumptions in that uh, around uh, tender price indexes 
uh, and uh, cost of inflation uh, that may that may uh, cause uh, the cost to go up. Okay, I'm not going to pretend. Uh, not going to pretend otherwise. So I get, as well, sir. Yes. Oh, it, it, may, it may well be the upper limit, but it's based on certain contingencies. And can't cash challenge. In fact, uh, it's possible. 